Welcome traders to this short video on the Zone Trader Pro order flow indicators. In this video, I'm going to look at the setup and use of the ZTP order flow indicator. And for this, I generally use two charts, one a shorter time frame chart. In this case, a volumetric two range chart with these settings and also a volumetric five range chart with similar settings. I use two charts because what I want to do is I want to key off the smaller chart for an entry and then confirm the entry and how far I think that trade is gonna go based on any signals given to me from the higher time frame chart and looking at this chart right here you can see that down here at the low we see numerous uh, zone trader pro order flow buy signals the ones that occurred over here did not occur at an actual zone trader pro trading pattern however at the low here where we have a tick divergent trade we see that the zone trader pro order flow buy was given and in this case we would have even been able to enter it at a much favorable risk reward by entering on limit orders at 97 and a quarter and possibly even 97 even. As the trade progressed, we saw another uh, order flow by at this bar. And at the eventual top, we see two order flow sell signals. And this is very common where the ZTP order flow sell and buy signals will occur at tops and bottoms. In bringing up the five range chart, we can see that again, we have the ZTP order flow buy signal for the entire bar down here. And what I read into that is that this is a significantly more powerful signal because it occurred over a point and a half of trading and not just the lower portion of the trade where the trade had kicked off. In the next bar, we see that we have a continuation ratio of 106.25. The next bar, we have a point of control extension buy where a large amount of market orders came in and created that extension buy followed by trap sellers in the next bar. And then again, we see the ZTP order flow sell at the eventual market top. I've now gone and turned on the extension zones, which show support and resistance. Here are the settings for the Zone Trader Pro extension zones. What is interesting here is that there had been previous historical support at both 27 97 and a quarter and at 2796.75 and especially at the price of 9725 um, you can see that that line is darker indicating that there had been two separate instances of strong market order support at those prices what is next interesting and gives you an idea of how strong the move was is we see all of these red extension zones being tested and then broken. And the way you look at that is these extension zones represent places where sellers had been coming in hard, such as at 98.75 and again down here at 98. And when these extension zones are broken, these are going to force the shorts to have to cover. And until you see extension zones being let out on the other side, such as exactly what you see right here at 2802 and a quarter, not once, but twice, that is significant and showing that there's going to be a reversal there. It's also not coincidental that there is a very wide three tick range extension zone exactly where the market had stopped at. What's important to me is that these extension zones are not an indication by themselves to trade. 
what is important is that they serve as resistance once new extension zones are let out here and here showing that the sellers are committed to defending these prices and that really is important in this type of setup that's going to be all for this short video and look for others in the near future